If you didn't already know by now, these are the Xreal Air AR glasses. Now, they were formerly known as Nreal Air until the company decided to change their name recently. Since the Steam Deck launched a few years ago, there's been a lot of great accessories to use with it, but nothing quite as unique and fun as pairing AR glasses like the Xreal Air with one. I've parted up with Xreal for today's video to bring you guys their latest work, the Xreal Verified Steam Games List. They've carefully curated a list of games on Steam that work seamlessly well with Xreal devices like the Air and the Beam, creating that ultimate handheld gaming experience. You can find this list on the official Steam website and it will be updated semi-regularly to keep things up to date. I've also provided a link down in the description box below for anyone who's interested in checking it out. As at the time of this video, there's already over 50 games on that list that have been verified to work perfectly well with Xreal devices. Some of the games on the list include Hogwarts Legacy, Batman, Watch Dogs, and games from the Creed franchise. Xreal has also asked me to let you guys know that this list is going to be the number one spot of reference when looking for games that work perfectly well with their devices. So I highly encourage you to check it out if you already have the glasses or plan on getting them. Before we check out some gameplay through the glasses, let's quickly go over why the Xreal Air might be the perfect accessory to pair with the Steam Deck or any other similar devices for the ultimate portable gaming experience. First, let's talk about the build. The glasses are very light and compact. They can pretty much pass as regular sunglasses, especially when viewed from afar. This is really nice since the Steam Deck is also somewhat portable and together they combine to create a unique portable gaming setup with the 130 inch display. The glasses only require a single cable to work and can be brought around easily using the protective pill-shaped travel pouch that it comes with. Speaking of the screen, the Xreal Air has two micro OLED HD displays built into both lenses that combine to allow the glasses to project up to a 130 inch display. Keep in mind that this is only when used in aircasting mode with devices that support DisplayPort over USB-C like the Steam Deck. The maximum refresh rate you can get on them is 60Hz which is honestly perfect for use with the Steam Deck since it also caps at 60Hz on its own display. There's also two speakers located under each temple for sound output. I'll be honest, they're not mind blowing or anything so if you want a more immersive audio experience then you might want to try using Bluetooth earbuds or headphones. You'll find all the controls are nicely positioned on the right side of the glasses with one button for quickly shutting off the display and a rocker for controlling the brightness level on command. As for how the setup works, the glasses connect to the Steam Deck or any other device through a single braided USB-C cable connection. They do not come with built-in batteries so keep in mind that they'll pull a small amount of power from the source device. They also save that device some power if the screen is turned off while using the glasses. The Steam Deck only has one USB-C port, so there's no way of charging it at the same time as when using it with the glasses without the use of some kind of splitter. Other devices like the One X Fly, for example, that come equipped with multiple USB-C ports can be charged at the same time as when using the glasses without the need for a splitter. The setup process is as easy as connecting both USB-C male ends into the female ends on the glasses and then on the source device. The glasses then go on to project a massive 130-inch screen right in front of the viewer's eyes. On the Steam Deck, the screen turns off automatically also, saving the device and battery in the process. You still control everything using the Steam Deck's controller, but you can also connect a Bluetooth controller if you prefer that instead. There's a light shield cover that comes with the glasses as well, and you can use the glasses with or without that cover on it. Without the cover, you see more of your surroundings with the screen overlaying your real world view. This can be a little problematic, especially in the daytime or just bright situations in general since the amount of light passing through the lenses makes it a lot harder to see the screen clearly. With the cover on, there's zero light coming in through the front of the lenses, which makes the screen a lot easier to see, creating a more immersive theater-like experience. Keep in mind that even with the cover on, there's still going to be a little bit of light that comes in through the sides in the daytime, so personally, I prefer to use them in darker spaces to reduce or eliminate this effect. The glasses also need to be positioned correctly on the nose to get the best viewing angle for each individual. One of the main benefits I see with using the Steam Deck and the Xreal Air is it pretty much eliminates a lot of awkward gaming positions. With the glasses, you're now able to sit upright while resting the console on your lap to save your neck or even lay flat on a couch or a bed for a more comfortable gaming experience. The new Xreal Verified list already contains a good amount of games that work seamlessly when played using the Steam Deck and the Air Combo. The Steam Deck comes with a maximum resolution of 800p, but when connected to the glasses, that resolution increases to 1080p. 
Now there isn't just a much larger screen available, you can also now play at a higher resolution with the glasses. Keep in mind that playing at a higher resolution will draw more power from the processor, leading to a trade-off in performance, meaning lower frame rates. What I like to do to maximize gaming with the glasses and the Steam Deck combo is play at a lower resolution and then use FSR to upscale without compromising on performance. I decided to try out 10 games from the verified list to see how well each one performs using the glasses and the Steam Deck combo. The first one I tried was Hogwarts Legacy. The game ran smoothly pretty much staying at 60 frames per second throughout. Hogwarts Legacy has AMD's FSR technology built right into it so it renders at a low resolution and outputs visuals at a higher resolution or a sharper resolution. I played this one long enough to make sure that that 60 FPS was consistent all the way through and it was. Next up I tried Batman and for this I set the game to 1080p to begin. If you're having trouble increasing the resolution past 800p what you have to do is make sure each game's resolution is set to native in their individual properties menu before even opening it. Batman was able to maintain numbers above 40 frames per second at that 1080p, which was pretty good. When I lowered the resolution to 720p, I was able to get a more consistent 60 frames per second gameplay, which is more ideal in my opinion. Make sure to use the Steam Deck's built-in FSR to upscale the image when playing at 720p so there's no compromise in picture quality for a higher performance. Cyberpunk 2077 was next, and if you didn't already know, this is a graphics intensive game, so playing at 1080p through the glasses did not run so well using the Steam Deck. At 720p with FSR enabled, I was now able to get 40 plus FPS, which made the game very much playable through the combo. After Cyberpunk, I played the remastered version of Spider-Man. For this, I played at 720p with FSR enabled again. That let me get upwards of 40 frames per second, which allowed the game to run smoothly throughout. Spider-Man Miles Morales tends to run very similarly to the original remastered version, so I expected kind of the same level of performance from it. I played at 720p here as well, and the game was able to maintain FPS numbers above 40 consistently enough for a smooth gameplay session with the glasses. On Assassin's Creed, I was able to get over 40 frames per second consistently. Of course, I was playing at 720p here to get that, but I also had FSR enabled so the image quality still looked pretty solid. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt ran smoothly at 720p, maintaining above 40 frames per second throughout. Civilization 6 is one of those games on the list that's less graphically intensive, so I was able to get a consistent 60 frames per second gameplay at 1080p all the way through. The specific Yakuza that I played wasn't off the list, but an older version was, so I decided to try it out anyway. Playing at 720p, I was able to get between 50 and 60 frames per second consistently with no issues at all. The game ran smoothly throughout even if it wasn't the original version that's on the verified list. Mad Max was the last game that I tried and this one was not even on the list at all, but it worked like a charm when I played it on the Steam Deck and viewed through the eggs real glasses. Keep in mind that the games that work with the glasses aren't limited to what's on this list. You can try out a lot of other games, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them work as well. After successfully playing a few games from the list of X Real Verified Games on Steam, I'm actually feeling very confident in every other game from that list performing just as well. If you need a point of reference for games you can play using the X Real Air and the Steam Deck, then the Verified Games list is definitely a great starting point. Also keep in mind that games from the list aren't the only ones that work with the glasses, as we saw with Mad Max. Alright, that's pretty much it for this video. Leave all of your questions down below and go ahead and check out the list and let me know if any of your favorite games are on there already. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in my next one. And if I don't, thank you for watching. It's Tommy and I'm out, y'all.